Every song you've ever heard, whether it's Beethoven to Puccini to Lady Gaga to the Mills Brothers, it's the same 12 notes. I'm a Midwestern boy. If you told me that this guy born in 1985 in the middle of the country is going to grow up and get to walk into the house of, of artistic expression for the art form of opera. Yeah, Metropolitan Opera. I came back in 2014. What a different time 200 pounds ago too, which is wild to think about. This is it though, this is the year. I'm ready for my show. Operas are like telenovelas. There's comedy, there's drama, there's a love triangle, someone dies, the whole gamut. This art form, it's theater, and we're telling these stories as trained singers. That's all it is. Oh, come now, don't pretend. Everywhere I go, Please. at every, every engagement, every opera house, what is your ethnicity? I'm a Mexican-American. And they look at me like, well, you don't look Mexican. I don't know if I should say thank you or be offended. Yes, Jesus loves me. I come from a uh, gospel background. For me, singing was just for church. I don't come from much. I am a product of a teenage pregnancy. Another challenge was me being a black male in this industry. When I would walk in a room, you could feel the tension. I am from Sri Lanka. I moved here at 18. I had no base in the music industry. I did the competition circuit and I got rejected probably about 30 times in the space of two months. Now, is it easy? No. But is it ever easy for, you know, the first or second generation or the third generation of people to break these barriers initially for the people that are coming behind us? No, I don't think it is. When we're listening on this side of the table at auditions, we are listening for the uniqueness of their instrument. We are listening for artistry. And in the end, do they move you? Uh,